regular kid every day the same thing happened but something was missing something like a purpose it wasn't really anything I wanted to do every day kind of felt worthless every day it's just a repeat of the last. I had no passion. Until one day, I got a package. Look my first yo yo inside. And then I got another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Another. 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 Anyways, you get the point. Every day became practice, practice, practice. I worked on improving my skills. get better, I wanted to find, I wanted to find my passion. I'm not a fan of gnats. I looked around for yo-yo clubs and other yo-yo related stuff around Colorado. Sadly I didn't find anything. So I decided to make, make my own club here at Rocky. That club is yo-yo club. I play yo-yo because yo-yo is a lot of fun and it's very different from other things I could be doing. Uh, I like doing sick tricks, bruh. Um, I don't know, yo-yo is just very therapeutic, especially when you get to the point where you don't have to think about stuff. 
you can just do whatever, and that's kind of nice. I always like doing things with my hands. It's um, <laughs> something that keeps me entertained and gives me goals to work towards. Yo-yo's taught me like how to keep on going when you feel like you'll never get there, or like um, failure. Like the, the, one of the sad parts about yo-yoing is so much of it is failure, but when you finally have that success and learn that trick, like it's amazing, and you can keep on doing that trick after. I play yo-yo because it's very relaxing and there's endless possibilities. It's it your your mind and your body work together and I I, I feel like it's very nice just to have control of something and that you can do anything you want with it. Yo-yo has taught me how to um, keep going and how to and how to um, just overcome uh, problems and like to, to find ways to work around. The community I'm in right now, being the Yo-Yo Club, thinks it's uh, pretty awesome. But I think um, other people around us just think we're nerds. <laughs> The hardest thing about yo-yoing is um, sometimes the community around you or like you never feel like you'll be good enough and like you're trying to learn a trick or you, you never will, so yeah. Yo-yoing's hard because of all the maintenance stuff and I'm just, it's, it makes me angry to think about it just because it's such a pain to try and figure out what's wrong with your yo-yo because you have to do it. You don't have like a yo-yo repairman in town that you go to. Uh, cool. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, yes. That's uh, one of the things that is, is one of my pet peeves is when people just walking by, just stop your yo-yo just in, in the middle of it. There's specific people. Specific people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> thanks. What does the community around you think about it? Uh, the community around me thinks that yo-yoing is pretty tight, and <laughs> they just they like to get together and have fun and joke around like they're doing right now, because you know, where else would I be? <laughs> All right.